beginning my gnome home project. Here I have my sketches with me. I'm going to go with this kind of tree trunk mushroom top house. Now to do this house, I've planned to build the walls or the trunk with coils and to do the roof with a pinch pot. So I'm gonna begin at the bottom and work my way up. To begin with coils, I need to actually roll out a base. So I'm going to go ahead and set my sketch aside and grab some clay. I'm going to use my floss to cut a piece of clay to create my base. I have a piece of clay here and I'm going to go ahead and smush it out to create a base. I can use the flat part of the palm of my hand picking it up to make sure it does not stick. This is really important. I'm just working on a piece of scrap cardboard. You could work on a piece of cardboard or a brown shopping bag, but it's really important that you are lifting your clay up anytime you're smushing or rolling it out so that it doesn't stick. Now I don't need a super thick base, but I do need a base because I need something to attach my coils to. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to roll until it's about a quarter inch in thickness. So once I have that, it's pretty good. I'm going to just kind of clean it up. I don't need a piece this large, so I'm just gonna use my popsicle stick here to kind of create just a little, a little base. I might even trim it down more later. Um, but for now, it's kind of like organic shape. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It could almost be like on its own little gnome island. So I'm going to then carefully lift it up to make sure that it does not stick. So I'm good to go with that. I'm going to just kind of slide it up a little bit and I'm gonna take this extra clay and I'm going to begin to roll my coils. Now, I like to roll my coils on the table instead of the cardboard because the cardboard absorbs a lot of moisture and I really want my coils to stay soft. When coils start to get really dry, they start to crack and they become really difficult to work with. So I want to make sure that I'm rolling it on a surface that is not going to pull the moisture away, but is going to keep the moisture in the clay. So I'm gonna continue to roll and stretch this coil. I want it to be the same thickness or even a little bit thinner than that slab I just rolled. So if my little slab base here is a quarter inch, then my coil should be the same or less. Smaller coils also give us more control in our shape and our form. So that's really helpful. So I'm gonna go a little bit further and I'm ready to kind of draw out where I'm going to attach. So I have this kind of tree trunk, right? And I have this kind of natural, almost like root outline here. So I'm going to, just with my little pointed tool, kind of draw out like where I'm going to attach this first coil. So it's gonna be like more or less kind of like round overall, but I want it to have a kind of dramatic trunk. So I'm going to make a, a really organic shape. I'm then going to score along that line I just drew and I will score along my coil as well. So scoring that and now scoring my coil. So here's my coil, scoring it all the way down and going to use some water in between. So just with my finger, I can dip or I could use a paintbrush 
to kind of add that water on. I'm going to put scored to scored and I'm going to just kind of wrap around following that shape that I drew. Now I'm going to kind of just build and cut out my windows and doors later. So it's going to be important that I keep my clay really soft while I'm building and make sure that I'm always bagging in between. So I'm going to carefully stack that and I'm going to add my next coil, scoring all the way down, now scoring here on top of my coil. If we do not score, slip, and agitate, then we will not get a strong connection. So agitating is just kind of putting pressure and even kind of wiggling your pieces together. It helps bind those little scores and connect to make a really strong structure. So once I get to my overlapping, I'm going to score again and continue to grow. So I'm just gonna score all the way around, making sure I add more slip or water between. Firm pressure, give it a little wiggle, really helps. So as I continue to grow, I will also continue to kind of come in a little bit so it tapers up a tiny bit. I also, once I get a couple coils on, I'm going to go into my bag and grab either a popsicle stick or one of my tools and use the reverse side to blend my coils together. So if I lift this to show you, you can see my coils inside. I'm going to carefully use the back of this popsicle stick to blend my coils together. It's really helpful if I support it on the other side. Blending it makes it a much stronger joint, a stronger connection. I'm gonna make sure that I really blend down into my base as well. And I'll do the same for the exterior because what I'm going to do is I'm going to add kind of bark like details. So I actually don't want the horizontal coils because I'm going to be making a vertical texture. So I'm going to go ahead and smooth every couple of coils. I would continue to add coils until I got the height that I wanted to where I would then be ready to start building my pinch roof to connect.